Every app on this list has given me that wonderful feeling or wow moment when I used it for the first time. I really want to tell you guys about this, so stay tuned. The first app called Skip Track Settings. And when you install it, it will show you the name of any song that's playing in the background by long pressing the volume button. Even if the phone in your pocket and the screen is turned off, it's still gonna work. And also you won't lose the control of the volume. Just use multiple tabs to increase or decrease it. Commoting. It's an app that provides many functions, like a toolbox for instance. It allows you to easily add those improvements and has the best modes available on Android. Such as rotating the screen to 180 degrees and fully customizable ambient display. And you can configure what always on clock will look like and add an outstanding animations to your notifications and a lot more. One of my favorite augmented reality apps is Wanakex. This app will let you pick from a list of designs of sneakers and wear them and see how they look if you bought them. Obviously not as good as if you try it in real store, but you may be surprised how much the feel that you do get when you see it in your body in ER. Next is Abstract. It is a cool wallpaper or background app, but it is made by the same artist who created or designed OnePlus default home screens. Everything on this app is in 4K. In addition to that, it was beautifully designed and there is no ads at all. The next app is Firefox Send. It is an app that will give you the ability to send any file anywhere. Of course, there is some similar apps like this, but this app have some features that takes it to the next level. First, it gets no ads at all, and you can also set conditions for how and when these files expires. For instance, after you've been sent it for 7 days, or after it gets downloaded a hundred times. And unlike some other similar apps, the other person does not necessarily have to download the app to receive the file. You just send him anything and he will get the direct download link. The next app called Spot an Alarm, and that will allow you to choose your alarm tune to wake you up in the morning from YouTube. All you have to do is choose in the hour when you want to wake up, as you will do on any other alarm application. And then choose any song and make it your tune from YouTube, as if it was already downloaded on your smartphone. Since the birth of the notch and the cutout on smartphone, people have been fighting this battle to make it less visual as possible, by installing background and stuff. But those developers made it useful instead of trying to hide it. So they have created an app and called it Battery Notch, which will turn out the cutout or the notch into a battery indicator to keep you up to date with your battery percentage all the time. It also has a lot of customization and supports all smartphones. And there is Pro version 2 that will let you fill in with more colors and animation settings. Most of us receive a lot of notification every day, and there are definitely times when I work on my laptop but I keep checking on my notifications in my smartphone every minute and here the Krona app will stand out by installing Krona on your phone and laptop browser you get to see and interact with all your phone notifications while your phone is somewhere else and above of that you can also send files between your phone and your computer fast and easy if you do a lot of screenshots in your smartphone then you get to download the Firefox Screenshot Go. This app does not only allow you to organize all your screenshots in one place, but if any screenshot has text, write any word in the search bar, and it will know that you're searching for that specific screenshot, and will show it to you. And above of that you can copy text from any screenshot, and paste it elsewhere. Very handy. Last but not least is Split Screen Launcher. This application for those who use split screen a lot 
This app allows you to create and save split screen shortcuts on your smartphone homepage. All you have to do is create a shortcut, name it, select the app and the bottom apps and save it, and you're good to go. And every time you click on that shortcut on your homepage, the two apps open together in split screen mode automatically. And you can make shortcuts as much as you want. So that's all for me guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it thumbs up and tell us on the comment section below which app you like the most. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we make videos like this every week. Peace out.